A new study from Rutgers University says the Affordable Care Act has substantially reduced the number of uninsured New Jerseyans from more than a million to 430,000. But questions, criticism, and complaints persist. Joining us now, the Regional Director of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Jaime Torres. We welcome you back to the program. Thank you, Mike. Glad on, to be here again. On the face of those numbers, you, you, I guess there's cause for you to be celebrating. We are celebrating, indeed. I mean, this has been a great victory for New Jersey. Uh, we, this surpassed our expectation. In terms of private insurance, we were counting probably in 118,000, and we enrolled close to 162,000 people in New Jersey in qualified health plans, and the Medicaid numbers are probably over 100,000. This Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Foundation study uh, was it something that you were, uh, did it confirm what you expected? It pretty much confirmed what, what, what we were hoping for. I, you know that with all the glitches and all the things that happened at the beginning, we didn't know exactly what the final outcome will be, but it shows, number one, the need for health insurance, how people really want it, and also the great people in New Jersey, all the partners who worked very hard for this to happen. Tell me about why you think there's still, that's, I've seen recent surveys saying that the majority of people out there, I shouldn't say the majority, a large plurality still are unhappy about this concept. They, they don't like it on the face of it. Why do you think that is? I still, you know, it's still this lack of information and misinformation. A friend of mine described it as like we were building a house in the middle of a, a war. Mm -hmm. If you remember, the Congress voted 52 times to repeal the Affordable Care Act in these past few years. So the people were getting confusing information and confusing signals, but, but I but, think... But the program itself is, is, there are aspects of this, I think you'll, you'll agree, that are confusing. Uh, small businesses say that they're having some trouble with this right now. Of course, And yeah. that, and that uh, they're not quite sure where to go. There are certain regulations and numbers, how many people you can bring on, what percentage of your work force has to sign up in order for you to qualify for the tax credits, which may or may not be available. So there are some, there, I mean, it does get yeah, kind of I dense. I think the small business part was one of the things that has been delayed, as you very well know, right. and it will be one of the important work we will be doing this summer in preparation for November 15. But also the small business part, just to remind you, people can enroll throughout the year for the small business part. So, but that's important, that, you're right, there's more to work to be done for small business, and that's something that we will be doing this summer and the fall. We had uh, a story a few days ago uh, in Ocean County, uh, I believe Meridian Health and uh, United uh, Healthcare uh, parting ways, at least for now, over a new, uh, I guess, a new uh, plan that United is offering, I, I guess, through the exchanges that has forced a, a separation of that relationship. And, and a lot of the seniors down there saying that they're losing, this is more Medicare than, than sure, ACA, yeah. but they're saying that they're losing their doctors. And, it, and that, of course, was the big thing. The president promised people could keep their doctors. Critics say that's not true. Yeah. I mean, where does things like this stand right now? So it's important what you, what you just pointed to clarify two things. Mm -hmm. United is not one of the plans offered in the marketplace in New Jersey. In New Jersey right. So that may be a Medicare advantage. Mm -hmm. And for that, there are many. And there's also open enrollment period where people who are seniors can change their plans. Mm -hmm. And like any private plan, they have the right to expand, to lower, to whatever they do with the network, but they have the right, they need to inform the, the patients about those changes. But there is a lot of confusion that still exists between the ACA, Medicare, and it's beyond. True. Yeah. It's true. So the, if you, the, the Affordable Care Act in the marketplace are for people who are uninsured, small businesses, and not for people who have insurance like Medicaid or Medicare already. For what happens to people when they move? Say somebody comes from New York where they have their own exchange to great, New Jersey. Great question. So now there's still a special enrollment period where people can enroll in there's some categories, people who move to the state, people who have a baby, people who got divorced, people who lose their jobs, or people, for example, who graduated from college. This is a perfect time for now. You graduate, you don't have insurance, or you find a job that doesn't have insurance, you can enroll through a special enrollment period right now before November 15 by calling 1-800-318-2596. And you expect those numbers, the 430 that still persist without insurance, how, how quickly do you expect that number to go away or what? Well, that number is the people, I think, who became an insured in New Jersey. The number is still higher than that. Yeah. So we expect nationally to enroll around 25 million people in four years. So yeah. there's a lot of work ahead of us. But again, the people, the partners here in the Garden State have been terrific. And they really, they, make it, they made it happen. Dr. Torres, always a pleasure. Thank we appreciate you. you coming in, sir.